So Saturday is World EV Day. And to, I guess, celebrate, uh, I just wanted to quiz some of our employees about EVs. And from your perspective, what is great about EVs? I love how EVs have the potential to decarbonize our transportation sector. Um, and also from like looking at the grid perspective, it helps us take our load, which kind of does this over the course of the day, and it can help us flatten it if people um, choose to charge their EVs at the right time. And what does that uh, flattening, like what does that look like? How can EVs contribute to that? Yeah, so um, if people are charging their EVs after they've gone to sleep, that's times when electricity is less expensive and can be cleaner. Um, and that is fantastic. Um, what's the worst thing they could do is they could come home and charge it immediately when they get home um, because then electricity is more expensive and it's almost certainly coming from more carbon intensive sources. Because that's when everybody's using it. Because that's when everyone's using so, it. So, yes. Ariam, what is your favorite thing about owning an EV? I just love how convenient it is. Uh, I charge it in the garage once a week. Um, it's always ready to go whenever I want it to be. And it's super easy to take care of and maintain. Been really, really happy with it so far. Have you had any issues um, finding charging stations when you're traveling? No, not at all. Um, I've, uh, you know, it, sometimes you put a little bit of forethought into it um, and kind of plan your route accordingly, but um, it's it really hasn't been a problem at all to charge it on the go. Awesome. Emily, can you tell me about some of the incentives that are available for people looking to purchase an EV in 2023? Yeah, with more and more models of EVs and different vehicles available, a lot of people are getting more and more interested in electric vehicles. There are a bunch of different incentives available for purchasing an EV and helping making charging easier. LPA actually offers a free level two home charger to any of our members who own or lease an electric vehicle or a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. We also have rebates available for the installation costs to help make the electrical work easier too. There are also federal and state tax credits available for EV for purchasing an EV, but there are some complicated rules around what vehicles uh, qualify for what, so make sure you do your research before you buy. Hey, Jen. Hey. What would you say to someone looking to purchase an EV if they're worried about how to keep it charged? Yeah, um, so we've got fast chargers out here that'll charge your vehicle in about 20 minutes, that's a full charge. Um, you've got level two chargers all over town, they can take a little bit longer, but if you need to get a charge, they're there as well and pretty convenient. But at the end of the day, most people are gonna do um, primarily all of their charging at home. And so really the estimate is that most people only do between five and 10 charges on the road every single year. So for most people, they come home, plug their car in at the end of the day, and you're not draining the whole battery now, it's just kind of recharging a, a little bit of that at the top end of it. So it's a pretty quick charge on it. It's at 100% when you wake up in the morning, and it's a lot easier than going to the gas station.